Sports HRH TV. It's Matt Stocks here with Nightmare World. How you doing, fellas? Not too bad, thanks. Very, very good. You boys are fellow Birmingham boys, like myself. Well, yes, or I, was, thereabouts. I was born there, in fact, yes, that's true. There you go. Yeah. Um, tell me about Birmingham right now, what's going on musically. For me, I'm not really aware of, in the metal genres, perhaps yeah. anything really like exciting or fresh going on. Present company excluded, of course, but you're obviously a decade old now. Um, yeah. Are you aware of... Last choice of words. Are you aware of a kind of a thriving scene, or are you too busy sort of taking the music everywhere else? None, of, it none of us live now in Birmingham, but I think... Uh, Got out. <laughs> yeah. Basically That's what thing. happened was I was at uni in Birmingham when the band was formed, more or, right. or less. So I was at Aston University, um, and uh, none of us live there anymore. We're all dotted all over the country. I live in York now. Pete yeah. lives in... Uh, Lincolnshire, and then you're... Carl, uh, Billy Virginia. lives down in London, <laughs> near London. Yeah. So, uh, well, how does that factor in with sort of rehearsal it's time? It's a pain in the arse. It's a bloody pain in the arse. <laughs> right, yeah, and records and... Well, basically, what we do, yeah, it's like uh, we, we get a gig organised and then we're like, uh, we need to actually rehearse for this. So we, yeah. we all get together. We kind together. of do a whole weekend rather than like rehearsals here and there. But of we course, before we weekend. get to the rehearsal room, there is like about 400 million emails. Yeah. Everyone arguing. Well, I can't make that date. I can't make that date. I haven't got my guitar. I'm a we basically pick like, somewhere in the, in the centre of the country it. that we can all come to. And it takes yeah. and is that literally the heart of England? Bang. It Pretty is much. more or less. More it's or less, like, yeah. uh, what, Derby or somewhere like well, that? Well, it's actually not far from Birmingham Street. It's not from Brown Hills. Yeah. Burtonwood even. Yeah, Burtonwood. That's where we rehearse. But the style of music that we play it's not easy to find people that like this sort of melodic metal thing in the UK yeah. it's, it's not easy to find people that want to play this style of music so you know when you find someone that you you, you get on with and that can play the style yeah. you just have you to keep go. a hold of them yeah, yeah. that's it yeah you, try, literally, yeah, you try to yeah <laughs> what led you to that style in the first place I guess all bands should really just pursue a musical path that interests and excites them was that the case that's just the music that you guys all were drawn to yeah, and were interested in making yeah. Well, I guess it's um, the stuff we play. Is I guess a lot of it comes from eighties metal, basically, um, and and the, the more good stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could say that the old school stuff um, and uh, the sort of melodic side of vocals and that sort of thing. I mean, I've always liked that sort of thing, like um, Ingve Malmsteen, and in the nineties, a lot of the like European power metal type thing as well. Um, so yeah, we're all sort of into we're all into sort of different bands, but we. Yeah, yeah. We share the the fact that we all like this melodic side of music, really. Is this number four? <laughs> oh, he's coming. He, want, he wants now. to get oh, yeah, amongst it now. We're just getting a beers in. <laughs> Where's mine? Yes, it's to the bar, mate. <laughs> nice and like professional. Eighties metal. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. There we go. We're all in. I'm in. Yeah. And you're where, my friend? Where are you living? We York. You're York. Okay, so at least two of you are in the same place. Yep. Yeah, we do it together maybe once every three months. Just <laughs> <laughs> um, tighten them strings. Mm. Put it this way, the last time we did a gig was, what, a year ago, wasn't it? What, Pretty before old. today? So this yeah. yeah, yeah. So, and we rehearsed last week. We did a weekend for the so gig. We, we might be a decade, decade old, but not too much has happened yet. Yeah, it took us... It's, and it's uh, not been ten solid years of honing. It's been a year. It's been, it's been ten solid years of thinking about it. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty much Pondering, what it's been. procrastinating. Yeah. Yeah. Put it this way: we uh, so we've got our album. Well, we we recorded our album. We started that in 2010. We finished it in what 2015. Five, five years. So we're, we're on track with Def Leppard. We haven't got a one-armed drummer, but okay, it's an excuse. But you know, um, but you know, we're looking to do a second album and that. You know, it's probably going to take another couple of years. But. Mm, yeah. Well, this one should be a, a bit more faster moving because we have a new. Producer and stuff. Yeah, we're looking we're to work with uh, Chris Sangarides, who did Judas Priest Painkiller, um, and mm. he's worked with Gary Moore. I mean, that's the, the benchmark right yeah, there, right. isn't it? Yeah, exactly. So um, the thing is, he now lives down on the south coast near in Dover, and he's got his own he's got his own setup sort of thing. So we just we just emailed him on Facebook and said, "Are you interested in working with us?" We sent it we sent him the album, and he's like, "Yeah." So well, See, that's the wonders of the modern age, right? I mean, the internet does have some pros. Mm. Yeah, no, that right there is kind of anyone is acceptable and you can just hit them up on Facebook and yeah, just yeah. go, hey, you're a legend, you made this great album, you want to work with, with us? And he's like, yeah. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's surprising, yeah. like, how the sort of people you can get in contact with, really. Yeah, yeah. And this sort of thing wouldn't have happened, like, 15, 20 years ago, I don't think. So, it's, uh, yeah, it's something that we can take advantage of. So, yeah. yeah, big time. Yeah. And how was you set today? You played about an hour ago and you all look very... Fresh. <laughs> Shower fresh, mate. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was all right. Yeah, yeah I mean, um, you know, we've only done what? How many gigs have we done in our existence? <laughs> About five or six. So, That's um, one year. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's, um, it's not... Yeah, it was, it was all right, you know. We had a few sound issues, but hopefully we came across not too bad. I'm sensing that you feel like it could have gone better. 
could have done. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's hard to tell, really, because you don't, you know. We're not a road. We, we haven't. It's, we're not like one of those road hog bands that's played thirty shows in a month. You know what I mean? Like, so you're going to be analysing everything. Yeah, and like, yeah, 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 exactly. I mean, basically, we we need to just keep playing live, you know, and we'll we'll gain experience from that. But yeah, yeah hopefully, the people that saw us enjoyed it. <laughs> I'm sure they did. Yeah, yeah. That's the well, plan. Maybe yeah. just don't leave it another five years. Yeah. yeah. Maybe get the next <laughs> album out by like 2018, the end of that year. Yeah, yeah. That's that's what we're ex- hoping to do and expecting to do, really. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, yeah, I think the plan is just to get the next album out before we all retire. I think that's. <laughs> <what it's laughs> yeah. That's on the card soon, is it? <laughs> Man, we, we can manage that. Sailing off into early yeah. retirement. <laughs> I think that's more do- more than doable. But you know, <laughs> because now we're in sort of like our late twenties, thirties, and all that sort of thing, it's like, you know, the band thing is we've all got our full time jobs and all that uh-huh. sort of thing. So yeah. we try and fit we try and fit this in. We all live in different areas of the country, you know. <laughs> we love the music, so we will you know we'll we're keep going. Time. We're still time. We'll keep going. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, there's plenty of time to melt faces. Um, <laughs> thanks for stopping by the show. I won't keep you any longer. Go and, uh, you know, enjoy that second half of the bottle of wine and then <laughs> maybe pop open uh, another. Wine, and um, you're going to be watching any bands later today? I'm, I'm looking forward to Hammerfall. They're like a big influence on me. The, uh, when, they came, when they came out in the 90s, they were like a massive influence. So I'm looking forward to, uh, hopefully I'll try and meet one of the guys or whatever and <coughs> be a fan, have a fanboy moment. Or whatever. Yeah, so well, This gets you everywhere, mate. Use it. <laughs> Get back there. Yeah. Thanks for coming on the show. It's HRH TV. It's Nightmare World. Cheers, boys. Thank you.